Now I'm going to print a print with paste so you can compare it to the ones without paste. Always starting with the black somewhat wet. Since I've been printing for a while, there is some color in my brush. So I often start out before I even add any color, of just brushing my brush around and kind of looking to see how much water and color is in the brush and in the black and how much I need to add. I'm using Nori, which is just a brand of rice starch paste. You can use rice starch or wheat starch paste. And I like to take some out of the container to have in front of me while I'm working so that I don't get any color accidentally in my large container. Um, and I like to apply it with a stick or a plastic spoon or something, not a brush, because the brush gets so gunky. So. After you apply some color and brush it around, then apply some paste. For a large area like this, you'll need more paste. In fact, I think I'll get even more out of the jar. So I have plenty. If you have a carved block that only has smaller areas to print, you won't need this much paste. And how will you know if you need enough paste? If you ha how much paste you'll need? You'll know it by trial and error. If you still get that blotchy effect that you saw when we printed with no paste, that means that you don't have enough paste. Now when you're printing with paste, you'll notice you'll see more brush strokes appear when you spread the ink and the paste around in a circular motion. So to smooth those out, you need to use your brush in a different way. Use just the very edge here and brush first with the grain so lightly that you can't really hear it, but it's just barely touching, and then against the grain. And again, you would do it the same way with a small brush, although it will take you longer with the grain and against the grain. And check to make sure that you don't have any spots that have dried. Otherwise you'll need to spread again. Lay your paper down on your block. Lay your parchment and print, and we'll see if that was enough paste to get a smooth, even color. Okay, now compare these two. This is no paste, and this has paste. There are some white spots, but they're not blotchy in the same way as the white spots here. These white spots are areas where it was a little bit too dry, in fact. I think there was enough paste, but not quite enough water. So I'll try again. So I'll make sure that my block is a little wetter to start this time. And I'll try and work a little faster. I think demonstrating with the small brush and the large brush made it go slower. So water, some color. Some people pre-mix their paste and their color, um, but I find it easier to determine the correct amount by applying them separately. So here's some paste. And even after you spread the paste, if you look and you think it might need a little more water, you could dip your fingers in your water and flick a little bit more on there. I might just want a couple drops. And then mix all that water and paste and color. And then just with the edges of your brush, with the grain, against the grain, 
smoothing out brush strokes. I'm using the rag to dry some of the color from my hands so it doesn't get on my paper where I don't want it. Paper, parchment, barren. Sometimes I find it easier to print standing up. You can get better leverage. Now you can see how this ended up being a little bit more of an even print than this one. So trial and error. Keep making a print and taking note of how much water, how much color, how much paste. Try variations of those. There is something that can happen when you have too much paste. I'm starting to see little blotches along the edges here and that's because there's too much paste that kind of accumulated along the edge when I brushed. So next time I'll be more cautious to clean up those edges and that can be much more of a problem when you're printing a carved block.